Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I'm here to take a look at BCW's Anti-Glare Board Game Sleeves for card size 70 by 120 millimeters. These are also known as tarot sized cards. These sleeves are clear and you can purchase one pack of these for an MSRP of $2.99. For that you get 50 sleeves and that averages out to about six cents per sleeve. This is a new product for BCW making anti-glare sleeves and so these are only the second manufacturer of anti-glare sleeves in tarot size cards and so they only have one competitor in Arcane Tinman's non-glare sleeves. This makes the BCW sleeves significantly less expensive at 40% less but we will see if it holds up in terms of quality. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. As you can see, the sleeves are smooth and matte on both sides. Now we're gonna to count to make sure that there are 50 sleeves here. There are 51 sleeves here. And although I usually would prefer it to be exact, I'm glad that if there is a difference in number of sleeves that there are more rather than less. Now to check the thickness of the sleeves. 50 sleeves comes in at one centimeter or 10 millimeters, which means that each sleeve is 200 microns thick or 100 microns each face, which is pretty standard for the more thicker rigid sleeves. Now to check the dimensions. These sleeves are 73 millimeters wide by 123 millimeters tall. Let's go ahead and see how a card fits. I have one Century Spice Road card here. This is 70 millimeters wide by 121 millimeters tall, so it's just slightly taller than the standard tarot playing card. We'll keep that in mind as we check how it fits. All right, it seems to be a decent fitter all around. There is just a little bit of wiggle room on the sides and only a tiny bit of space at the top for a slightly taller than tarot size card. So that means that if you take a millimeter off the top of this, then you'll end up with what an average tarot size card will be. And that's gonna be a pretty decent fit with a fairly even distribution of plastic all around the edges. With the Century Spice Road cards, the tops of the cards are closer to the opening of the sleeves, but that will be less the case for a more standard sized tarot card. Now it's time for the sleeve test. I have these 45 Century Spice Road cards here, and we're gonna put them into 45 of these sleeves. Ready, set, go. Okay, I pressed the buttons in the wrong order. So I missed a second here. So it took one minute and 54 seconds to sleeve these 45 cards. And that is a respectable speed of 2.53 seconds per card sleeved. And I felt like the sleeving process overall was quite smooth. I didn't really feel any sort of major resistance with putting the cards into the sleeves and they slipped in pretty well. I didn't have to work too hard to open the card sleeves either and so a very good sleeving process and I also noticed while I was sleeving the cards that all the sleeves are fairly clean and without blemish out of the package and so I applaud BCW for making uniformly well polished sleeves. Now that I have sleeved this deck up, let's go ahead and check for its overall uniformity and consistency outside the package. Now I already noted that the consistency is quite good, but are they uniform? The tops of the sleeves are uniform. There is no noticeable variation when I'm running my thumb across the top. And the sides of the sleeve are also quite uniform. There is only the mildest of variation between the sleeves and so I feel like this pack of sleeves here doesn't have any glaring inconsistencies in terms of their size and in terms of the quality of the sleeve directly out of the package. Now we're going to be doing the shuffle test. I'm gonna shuffle this sleeve deck 100 times and see how long it takes. Ready? Set, go. All 
All right, it took two minutes and seven seconds to shuffle these 100 times. And that is a blazingly fast speed of 1.27 seconds per shuffle. This is the fastest shuffling of the sleeves that I have tested. And this is despite the fact that I had dropped the sleeve several times because of my earnestness to shuffle. And also I should note that when I'm sliding these cards into each other, this is one of the smoothest mass shuffles that I have the experience of trying with sleeves of this size because there is basically very little resistance. The halves of the deck go right into each other. And so it's a very fast shuffle in terms of the overall experience of putting one half of the deck into each other in a mass shuffle. And so that contributed to quite a bit of the smoothness of the shuffle. And so I very much appreciated how well these sleeves felt in my hands as I was shuffling them. I have absolutely no complaints about the, the regular shuffle. Let's go ahead and test a riffle shuffle anyways to see how well this riffles. It's a pretty good riffle shuffle. The sleeves are a little bit softer than the more rigid glossy sleeves, but they do have enough rigidity to them that you can actually riffle shuffle these. So it actually turns out to work okay as a riffle shuffle. I think that these sleeves are probably gonna still be better off mass shuffled, but a riffle shuffle is a possibility with them. Now that I have handled these sleeves a bit, let's go ahead and, and check to see what kind of wear is on these sleeves. Okay, so there's some good news and some bad news. The good news is the surfaces of the sleeves actually handle the shuffling quite well. There doesn't appear to be any noticeable wear on the surfaces. Now, in part, that's just due to the matte finish. Matte finish doesn't tend to scratch or get fingerprints as much as glossy surfaces. So that is something. The downside is that some of the bottom corners took some bends. Now, these are not all the bottom corners, unlike the Arcane Tinman sleeves, which most of the bottom corners got bendy. In this case, only some of them took bends at the corners. And so it seems like these sleeves are not quite as rigid as their glossy counterparts. And that means that the corners might take some bending. And over time, that does mean that these sleeves are going to probably get more consistently bent corners on one or both sides, depending on how you tend to mass shuffle. And that does mean that these sleeves might become harder to shuffle as time goes by, or that these sleeves will potentially break earlier as a result of that somewhere on the bottom seams. Although usually the breaks are on the top seams, but there are no breaks on any of these seams. They seem to be pretty well welded together. So that is also a plus. And consequently, I think that the durability of these sleeves are gonna be quite high. I don't think they're quite as durable as the glossy sleeves, but at the same time, you're gonna have a longer lasting aesthetic consistency to the front and back of these sleeves as well because of the matte finish. Now, I think I should note that matte finishes do tend to dull these colors of the cards a bit. You can take a look here and notice that the colors are more vibrant and brighter here than they are under the matte finish. And so those of you who really want your cards to pop, you're gonna want glossy sleeves. But there's a trade-off in that glossy sleeves offer a lot of glare. And as you can see here, there is some glare that these matte sleeves will catch, but it's significantly less glare than a glossy sleeve will offer. And so that is something to keep in mind as well. Now it's time for the shake test. I have stacked these sleeved cards into a deck and I'm gonna shake the table there for a couple of seconds to see if the deck holds up. Ready, set, go. The deck didn't even budge. The matte sleeves do have a bit of cohesion to each other, so I was not expecting that this deck would e slip even in the slightest, and it didn't. Like, the deck is still quite uniform all the way around. So that is an easy pass for BCW's Anti-Glare board game sleeves. Let's go ahead and do the draw test. I'm gonna draw three cards off the top and see how well the deck holds up. Ready, set, go. No problem. Despite the fact that the sleeves stick fairly well to each other, it's also quite easy to pick up a single sleeve off the top and not have the rest of the sleeves fly off either. And the deck is very stable. You have to really work to destabilize the deck and even then it holds up quite well. And that in part, that's just due to the size of these cards. The surface area means that the likelihood of cards slipping on each other are very low. But 
I do appreciate the fact that these sleeves work really well together in deck form. And that's what I have for BCW's new line of anti-glare board game sleeves in Taro size in this particular instance, but I will be going back and reviewing the other anti-glare sleeves that they do offer. They do not offer them in all of their standard sizes just yet, so you will have to look out for the ones that do have them. And another nice thing about BCW sleeves is if that you buy them in bulk from their website, they actually offer you a discount at 10 packs of sleeves and at 120, I believe, as of the recording of this video. And so you can actually get an even better rate, making them a high value proposition. And there's no difference in price either between the matte sleeves and the regular glossy sleeves. And so that's also a plus. You can get whichever type you prefer from BCW without having to pay any difference in cost. And so that is another high point of BCW's card sleeves. I think overall, compared to its only competitor in Arcane Tinman, I really like BCW sleeves the most because they are great at handling. It looks like they will have some slightly higher durability and that's probably all I need. It just doesn't have that fancy box that Arcane Tinman offers. So if you're looking for matte sleeves for your tarot size cards, this is probably gonna be your best bet. And the price is good, the handling is good, the quality is pretty good, and even though the corners might take some bending over time, you don't really have many other options when it comes to matte sleeves. Let me know what your thoughts were about these sleeves, if you had a chance to try them, or if you have any questions, you can put those in the comments below. If you found this video helpful to you, hit the like button. I have surveys in the description box below if you have any experience with these sleeves or any other tarot sized card sleeves you can share that and the results of those surveys will be posted at the in it games's resource page linked also in the description box below if you'd like to see more of these videos hit subscribe this was refresh thanks for watching and i will see you next time